everybody. It's Lucy and Tyler again. We're going to change a swing bearing and a big link belt excavator. There's our job. I'll show you how she's done. So I took a chainsaw. Great big tree there that I had to make some lift blocks on the back. Put an X on it. And uh, that's the battle. So she'll lift herself up. I took the center joint right clean out yesterday. And then I stuck some hydraulic caps on the lines. That's what I had. Some uh, connector fittings. But it still works as a cap. That's my high quality good use bearing I'm putting in. And I have that fight. I got about a hundred of those to undo. I didn't count how many, but uh, that's the battle. So undo a few bolts. Them dirty buggers. I think they Loctited every single bolt on that bearing. What a fight to undo them things. It's like every one is a battle. Good luck with your slew bearing. I gotta do a little lift and see how she comes out. So I give it a good cleaning. I got a, a little pail of junk to come out of there. Scrape the top all nice and clean there. I also cleaned the bearing out of the shop. Only one side, I wire brushed the bottom side because it was upside down. And now I got a little Ginny Boom arm and I'm gonna lift her up and set her in. So let's see how she's done. So I played quite a bit with the lift position so I can get the bearing to slightly hang up on this side. That way when I walk it into my shovel, It'll hang a little higher so I can go over top of that center joint and in front of the gear. So she's sitting on her surface, gonna have to do some wiggling and get her in place, but she's kind of where she's supposed to be, you know, for a good start. I made sure she's clean, other than a little bit of water drip, but I'll pick up whatever I can before I close her, close her. I think I'm gonna drill a little hole in that plate down, downstairs. That way if any water does get in there, it can disappear. I wanna see you wiggle it. Just a little bit. I think I'm old, eh? That little point there, you can move a bearing really easy. See that? I like it. Put two bolts in, and I noticed that thing there, and the collar, and the space. So I'm just measuring to make sure she fits in. And I'm really hoping she does. Oops, I should maybe put a video on it. So she's like eight inches. Yeah, of course the light's not so good. And then I measure there, we got eight and a half. We're trying to slide it in, slow and steady. We're getting close.
So I took out my lifting blocks. I'm all finished. I'm going to turn it a few times and empty the hydraulic oil. I got a couple of more leaks and one is on the main return at the bottom. So, and put in my center joint, three bolts and a few hydraulic lines. But there you go, guys. That's how I change a swing bearing and a big excavator.